This is March 10 of this year, 2017. This is the front page, and this is the top of the front page. Here's my picture, and here's the title. Muslim sees bias in cup stop. The, the picture actually is kind of scary when you look at it, you know. Uh, when I grow my beard a little bit, it becomes scruffy and white. And uh, when you have it on my face, I look like those scary Middle Eastern people. And that was intentional to put it that way. And next to it, Hisham al-Miligi took a selfie Thursday morning as, uh, at the Staten Island Ferry after he was handcuffed for refusing to be checked for uh, his bag at the ferry. So, Muslim sees bias in Comstock. Let's go to the next slide to see the actual piece, what it says. So first, you have the picture, the scary picture. You have Muslim as the title, not a Staten Islander, not the, um, I am also the chairman of the Staten Island Libertarian Party. Forget about that, do you want to mention it? I'm a man, they could put man sees bias in Comstock. They could have put many different choices of words, but they put Muslim, okay? And then you go down, a religious and political activist, okay? We all know what an activist is, all right? Who here in your years in the United States heard an activist identified by being religious and political? This is intentional wording. And then he's born in Egypt. We live in a time, and this was right after uh, Trump became president, and we know uh, the Trump um, uh, policy on immigration and what he wants, and he wants to stop Muslim immigration. So born in Egypt, so messaging that I am the foreigner here, I'm not from here. I'm a US citizen. I've been on the island for more than 18 years, but they want to identify me by my foreign credentials. And uh, at the bottom here, and this whole thing is the front page on the top part, they say he uh, felt singled out because of his Egyptian heritage. So what happened? I was walking into the Staten Island Ferry, having my backpack on my shoulder, and this cop out of the blue stops me, calls me, please go to this table, we need to check your back. The way it was done made me feel that I was being singled out. Again, it could be fine. It could be that he's doing his job. It could be that he felt suspicious of something. That's their job. We appreciate what they're doing. But the way this particular instance was carried made me feel I was being singled out. I said, no, thank you. I don't know how it happened, but that's how, what came out of me. No, thank you. So the guy was, I'm not asking you. He said, no, thank you. Why did you stop me? Why did you choose me? And you left this guy and this woman and this and this. Anyway, long story short, let's go to the next slide. A tweet from a guy with the um, alias Bob Sacamano. It's a fake name. We know that because it's part of a TV show. He said, the article mentions nothing about him insulting cops, nor that at first they were just asking for the dogs to sniff. Okay. When you enter the ferry, there are so many areas before you enter the hole that takes you to the actual ferry. Anybody here takes the ferry? Okay. So there is this waiting hole where the fish tanks are, and that's where the dogs are. I never made it inside to the dogs. And usually I go automatically to the dogs because, you know what? If God forbid something happened, I don't want to be blamed for it. You know, they suspect the Arab Muslim immigrant guy who didn't check his back. I go automatically to the dog. I don't have to, you know? So I never made it inside. So this guy is tweeting false story, false accusation. Moving on. Another uh, tweet, 
I was there when it happened while getting my gym bag smelt by the dogs. It's not racial, it's protocol. He either didn't see anything or he's flat out lying because I never made it inside. You go to the next. Now, our dear friend Pamela Geller, one of the leading Islamophobes in uh, the, the entire world, of course, took the piece and ran with it. Muslim activists threatened to sue after being handcuffed for refu refusing uh, Staten Island ferry bag check. Uh, go to the next slide. Pamela Geller is the one behind these ads that appeared in subways and bus, um, uh, buses around the country, not only in New York. See the image of the Twin Towers? A part, not a full verse, a part of a verse taken out of context to throw the people, uh, gullible people uh, who don't know better, to make them think that this is Islam. This is Pamela Geller who did this. Next slide. We have also our dear friend, um, uh, the, uh, Robert Spencer, who is the founder of Jihad Watch. Okay. Muslim claims Islamophobia after being handcuffed for refusing back check. So this story has been going and going and going. Next slide. Bare naked Islam. It isn't Islamophobia when they really are trying to kill you. He's saying about you that you really are trying to kill non-Muslims or uh, people in the United States. So the same thing, Muslim supremacist. This is a very cute word. You're a supremacist because you're a Muslim. You want to abide by Islam, you're a supremacist. And troublemaker and, and similar things. Next slide. Mad World News. These websites are, you could say obscure or fake or whatever, but they have so much readership or many articles that are written. Now, Muslim refuses racist back check, an officer wipes entitled grin of his face. What is the story of the picture? After I finished everything, after they handcuffed me, after they gave me the summonses, after we embraced each other, myself and the five cops, after everything was done, I went on my way after 45 minutes and I took the ferry. So I took this selfie of myself saying what happened. So now she, uh, the writer, she's a woman, saying that <laughs> this was before, uh, the picture was before. They, they don't care about the truth. Okay, next slide. Uh, the Tea Party uh, front page. Muslim claims Islamophobia and so much. Next, I'm just giving you examples how far these things can go. And this is my, the best ever. Muslim spits in the faces of NYPD officers. <laughs> I wouldn't be standing here today if that happened. You know what I mean? And then gets a brutal reality check. So this was written like a few days after it. Next. The, uh, the woman that I said wrote many pieces. That's what she says about herself as a bio. She, first, she wrote 1,894 articles. Dom, is, that's her name, is a conservative Christian who specializes in Middle Eastern affairs, Islamic immigration, and between parentheses, hijra. She used the word, Arabic word to imply to the gullible people who don't know better that she's an expert in what she's talking about. When they hear a strange word, sharia, for example, they think that they know what they're talking about. So she's an expert on Islamic immigration, Christianity, Islam, and Sharia law. She hopes to expose Islam as a fundamentally violent, political, and religious ideology that seeks to use freedom and democracy to destroy freedom and democracy. That is some um, acrobats here. They are playing gymnastics with words. So these people, um, she wrote, again, almost 1,900 page, uh, pieces, and that was at the beginning of the year so far. Next slide. These are the two summonses. What happened, basically, as I said, I felt that I was being um, uh, 
singled out for who I am, what I am. Um, so I refused to be uh, checked. First of all,